Hi friends, welcome to Techie Fix. Today we are going to learn a basic feature from Microsoft 365 Admin Center. How you can add or delete a new user, that is what we are going to learn today, along with how you can assign a permissions or role to a person by adding them into a user template. Example, if you want to add a user as a team admin, or as a SharePoint administrator, how you, how you can do that. So don't waste our time, let's start. So first you log into Microsoft 365 account. From this left hand side tab, you go to admin. And this is Microsoft 365 admin center tab. Okay, this is a page where you can do everything. On the left hand side, you can see a user tab. If you expand it, you can see active users, contacts, guest users, deleted users. From this, you can go to active users. This will show all the active users present in this website. So this is the area where you can add a user or deleting a user, or you can creating a user template, adding multiple users, everything you can do from this page. Now I will go through and I will help you how you can add a new user. If you want to add a new user, click this add a user tab. Put their first name and last name. Uh, example John, James and once you click here, it will display John James as his first name and last name. That means this is a display name. The username, I prefer John James at the rate of domain. So once you put that, it would automatically check whether then that name exists or not, that username. If that username already existed, then you can uh, something like one, adding one or two, or just putting a dot between the first name and last name can do so many things okay so at the moment actually John James is like is not there so I am using that John James at the rate of the domain is like as a username so here automatically creating a password I am unchecking that box because I want to create a password and I want the user to change the password when they log in the first time this is entirely different actually in different organizations probably in your, your organization because it's automatically creating password or send the password in an email upon completion. So you can select uh, what your organization uh, tells you, what the policies are. So I type the password here and I tick this box so that the user can change uh, after the first sign in. I'm clicking next. I'm selecting the location as United Kingdom, assigning the license. Um, these are the apps actually uh, because you can decide whether this person need access to all this app or not Example if you don't want to give this person access to Microsoft Teams, you can untick from here You can uncheck that box at the moment. I'm not uh, removing any access. I'm giving all the access to that person so click next um, Here if you can see there are two different roles we can assign to people so first one is a, just a user, that means they don't have any admin access, but they are a user. The second one is a admin center access. So they can access the admin center. If you click here, you can see whether you can assign them as a SharePoint administrator, or team administrator, or user administrator, anything you can assign to them. But in this particular example, I don't want to assign them as an admin center access. I don't want to give any admin access. I just want to assign uh, him as a user. So I'm just ticking that box, um, hitting next. Now you can see the first name, uh, the username, uh, password and everything here, finish adding. So in this box actually, if you want to send an email to that person, you can add the email message here and you can send an email as well. So this is the last, um, uh, uh, last page. Um, I'm happy with everything, so I'm closing that. 
Once you close that, you can see John James is already added. So John James is a user at the moment. So you added John James as a user here. So uh, just to understand, John James cannot access the admin center at all. He is just a user. No. Um, you can uh, make this person as an admin as well according to the role you can go to the roles and you can change that um, but in the other way example if you want uh, in our organization you should have maybe 10 or 20 SharePoint administrators so each time instead of assigning a role to that person what you can do is you can create a user template that means a template for a SharePoint administrator, a separate tem a template for uh, the team administrator, like that. So in future, if you want to add any person under SharePoint uh, as a SharePoint administrator, you just go to that user template and assign that person there. So I will show you how you can do that. Go to user template, add new template. Now you need to decide what um, What's the name of that template? So here I want to create it as a SharePoint admin. So this template will be for the SharePoint admin. Um, you can add a description here and make this template available to other admins who manage users. You can check this box or uncheck this box. Uh, I'm checking this box at the moment, uh, hitting the next. So you, if you got a several domains, you need to switch between the domain, which domain you need to assign that. The password is auto-generated or let me create. So I prefer let me create, but as I said, it depends on your policies. Actually, this is just for the demonstration purpose. Um, I'm clicking this box, actually, let me create the password. And I always want the user to change the password when they first sign in, okay? Click this. Now this is a page where you are assigning license actually. You are you need to select a location here. This is United Kingdom. I am happy with that. I am assigning the license. This is Microsoft 365 Business Standard. Um, these are the apps. So um, I am clicking next. Now this is the part where you are assigning him as an admin center access. You are giving him as a SharePoint administrator. So uh, you went to optional settings, then you went to admin center access, then you are uh, ticking this box. That means checking this box, SharePoint administrator. Now you are now this is the template you are creating. You can add any person as a SharePoint administrator to this template. Okay. Click next. It's review all the details. Now finish adding. And template is ready to use. Now if you come here, you can see the SharePoint admin is already there, the team admin. So there are two different user templates available in this site. One is a SharePoint admin and the second one is a team admin. Now if you want to add a new user under SharePoint as an admin, as a SharePoint admin, then what you can do is then just click here use this template tab or you just need to put their first name last name and display name and username example I'm putting it as Adam Smith and the display name is same Adam Smith username is Adam Smith and new password Um, send this password in email upon completion. You can select this one if you want. Uh, you can uncheck it as well. So it's it's entirely up to you. Uh, and now I am adding this user. So what this does is you added a new user under SharePoint Admin. You can see Adam Smith here. So he is a new user, he is an active user, but Adam Smith is a SharePoint administrator. That means um, in this user ID, uh, that means where you are logging in, where you are a central admin, you can see, um, if you expand this, you can see all the admin center access. You got these tabs like SharePoint, Teams, all admin centers and everything. But Adam Smith 
is not able to see anything he can only see share point just this tab okay so today we learned how to add a user and deleting user is simple so go to that user just on this um, three dots just delete user tab is there you can delete user from here or you can um, go to the active user the users tab and delete user from here as well um, you learn how to um, create a template and how to assign a user into that template um, so we covered add a user user template deleting a user the same way you can add multiple users as well if you click this one add multiple users uh, several users can be added at the same time uh, instead of waiting uh, and spending more time uh, so you can do that as well so we just covered a simple portion a small area which uh, gives you more information about how you can add a user delete a user how you can assign a user into a specific template how to create a template template separate template for the SharePoint administrator or separate template for a team administrator how to assign a particular person into the template um, how you can add multiple users at the same time um, so we covered that section um, uh, I'm posting more uh, videos uh, related to Microsoft 365 admin center so you can always uh, subscribe my channel you can always come back to this section uh, come back to this area and see my other videos so if you like it please press uh, like button and subscribe my channel thank you We'll see you in the next video.